Hey, folks, you might have picked up a couple drops on your windshield if you're out driving around tonight. Just a few sprinkles around, but really nothing significant. But, boy, the clouds have been thick. Look at this. It's just overcast across the valley. And likely will stay that way most of the night with a few sprinkles from time to time. Tomorrow's a mix of clouds and sun, but then tomorrow night it gets interesting. By 9 or 10 o'clock, we'll start to see showers, maybe even a thunderstorm working in from the western part of the valley. Middle of the night, the front comes through. It really looks like... The strongest of the storms should stay to the north and west of us, but we can't completely rule out something firing up in the valley. It's still a possibility. It certainly turns nice on Thursday. A lot of sunshine and less humid. And you go into Friday, another nice day as well with sunshine and low humidity again. But boy, I'll tell you what, we still have this slight risk for severe weather in the far western part of the valley, from Rio Grande City up to Falcon Lake and all the way up to Laredo and San Antonio. Marginal risk, which is down to one on the scale of one to five. The slight is a two. And then non-severe stuff possible in the eastern part of the valley. Again, a slight risk means scattered severe storms are possible. A marginal risk means isolated severe storms. And then this non-severe area means, yes, a thunderstorm is possible, but not expected to reach the severe level. So basically, the takeaway from this map is if there's a severe thunderstorm, it's most likely to be in the western part of the valley. Something could sneak into Star and Western Hidalgo County, and by the time it even gets to the coast, it should be a run-of-the-mill storm. Now, if you take a look, the, the most likely thing, I think, damaging winds and large hail. And again, out west, I think that's a possibility. For most of the valley, probably not going to happen. We'll keep watching. And flooding rainfall and tornadoes don't seem to be a likelihood. About a 30% chance of those storms late tomorrow night, probably after 10 o'clock at night. Temperature-wise, we're all in the mid-70s right now. 75, 77, Port Isabel and Brownsville, 75 in Harlingen. Overnight, we bottom out in the mid-70s, so a very mild night across the area. And then tomorrow, back up into the upper 80s and low 90s. Breezy, southeast winds at 10 to 20 miles an hour. The normal high is 87. We're going to be warmer than that, 88, then a couple of days at 91 after that. Rest of Texas, take a look. It's cold in Dalhart cool in the northern part of Texas and then thunderstorms in the middle. Let's just go right to the radar and take a look at this. You go from out in west Texas, not far from Monahans and McKamey, you go eastward right down I-20 in severe weather all the way in to the Dallas-Fort Worth area tonight. Those areas all under severe thunderstorm warnings tonight as that line of thunderstorms move through, moves through the middle part and the northern part of the state. For us then, your first four five accurate with the forecast, mostly cloudy, breezy, low 73. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, late thunderstorms after dark late at night, early in the morning on Thursday. By Thursday afternoon, we're back to sunshine, less humid. A lot of sunshine on Friday, low humidity as well. High temperatures stay near 90, but watch the nighttime lows. They go down. That means pleasant evenings, cool mornings, a lot of sunshine during the daytime. We'll keep an eye on that stuff for tomorrow night. That's your updated First 1-5 forecast.